Once again, happy Halloween, folks. It's I, Power and Iron here, with the other uh, character figures I was going to do for this second Halloween vid, as these as these characters are born on the day of All Hallows' Eve. This right here is Ruby Rose from Ruby, both in her Season 1, Season 4, and technically Season 2, because this right here is her chibi figure right here. Again, I guess we're going to go off with the chibi figure going first things first. This right here is the uh, Season Season 2 Ruby during their battle when they go out and the docks and one out of fight. The White Fang and Roman's uh, Mafia gang, I forget what they're called. Uh, overall, it's pretty nice cheaper figures. This right here is actually with those mystery uh, bag cheaper figures. They, you can get like all the way back at like 20, uh, what, 16, 17, 18? I forget. Then we have, going from the oh, cheaper figure, we go with uh, Season 1 McFarlane figure Ruby Rose. Uh, trying to make sure this thing does not fall off. Plus, also been having camera issues. Like, see, right here we have season one Ruby looking pretty nice to design right here. Looking pretty good. I do apologize if there's any focusing problems if this does show off because right now the camera's kind of been having problems with that. But it's also because the entirety of my background has other stuff that my camera wants to focus on. And it's like saying, trying to tell my goddamn camera, I was like, hey, stop focusing on stuff that's not the thing I'm trying to focus on. And so I should get Ruby off her stand a bit if she wants to. So you can be a little bit more. I'm trying to see a little bit more Ruby right here. Looking pretty nice to design. Got the stand. Uh, she is movable kind of to a degree. Her legs are able to move a little bit in and out. So it's pretty nice. Her boots also able to twist around. And pretty nice. Her, her left boots also able to twist around. Don't The hand can't really do anything else. Uh, the size can be removed. Actually, right here, we can actually move this a little bit. So we can actually have the hands actually can move a little bit up and down. It's so not bad at all. Uh, what's it called? The right hand can go up and down. No problem at all as well. And their hand can wiggle a bit, not too much. These are technically stand, uh, stand, stand stature figures. So they're not meant to move too much. Overall, the design for Season 1 Ruby is pretty great. This is a McFarlane figure. Uh, so, design wise, it's also always pretty good. Uh, what's it called? Skirt's pretty nice. The bullet's right there. Her pouch and whatnot is pretty great. See right there. You can also see her uh, her symbol for her rose symbol right here. Overall, pretty great for season one Ruby. Uh, overall, pretty decent uh, design. Let's also go with her stand right here, which I'm pretty sure there's the uh, the tra the red trailer where basically she's fighting the Bay Wolf. So, you have the rose petals right here. And her in the snow right here, which is pretty nice. And then we got Crescent Rose, Season 1 Crescent Rose. Like, there will be a difference between Season 1 and Season 4. Because season 1 is, like, Season 1 Ruby is more brighter. Color-wise, is like, more bright red and whatnot. You can see right here. This thing can disassemble part right here. This, oh, it's all it can disassemble part because it's two-piece and whatnot. So it's a size right here. This is a pretty nice design. Very bright red. Then you have the end part right here for the weapon. You have the tip point blade right here, the ammo right here, holster, sniper rifle scope right there. Pretty nice in design. Overall, pretty great. And then re reattached on the other side. So the thing goes away. Overall, pretty great. This right here, season one Ruby. Now let's put her back on her stand. Though I will say, there's uh, little, the little plastic piece here did break because it's supposed to go up here. So. Uh, I do have to do some modifications for that because that kind of does hold the weight of the cape because the cape actually is probably the, like out of all this, the cape right here is the, technically the heaviest out of them all. So weight wise, I'm going to have to deal with that eventually. Then right here, we got season four Ruby as we kind of already did a review on this, but a little bit quick overview on season four Ruby right here. This is her after the battle beacon. Uh, overall new outfit right here, a little bit more battle damage from her battle. Uh, with the cold, uh, new cor uh, new chest piece with a corset. A little more of a blouse area right here. Overall, pretty nice. Sculpting her place is pretty good. Side right here is a little bit more different pose. Her scarf no longer being that big, bluey scarf right here. It's now a little bit more shorter scarf. A little bit more damage at the ends. Wearing her hood a little bit more. Kind of like a, uh, more like Red Riding Hood, but more battle. Red Riding Hood, overall pretty nice. Let's take off the... Uh, Crescent Rose and her stand. Be a little bit more better look. Overall, figure looking great. It's right here. Pretty sure you can see right there. We have the boots right there. Pretty nice design overall. 
pretty great. Her uh, uh, overall skirt looking good. Corset looking nice. F face detail looking great. Her arms are pretty good. Uh, the only thing that can ruby out of her arms that can move is her right arm only. This thing is the only thing that can move up and down, but that's mostly moving for the for uh, crescent rose, so it's not that too much movement. Overall detail work is pretty nice. Overall, pretty great figure. I actually do like these. Sadly, if you are trying to trying to get these um, McFarlane figures, it's, yeah, you're going to be out of luck. I do apologize. Uh, what's it called? Stands pretty nice. It's just her symbol right here with the rose and whatnot, and more concrete in the first, or at least the season four trader when she's fighting against that uh, gorilla, gorilla grim. Uh, Crescent Rose, now Wizard. I can see right here, the brightness in the red is all gone. I can see with her whole figure. The brightness is all gone now. It's more maroon now, maroon red. Uh, because now she's fighting more and more, so she's not taking care of her stuff, so it's, everything's getting more weathered because she's constantly in a battle during the entirety of Season 4. So it's pretty nice. Still same thing. Get this symbol, no problem at all. You have the top piece right here. Pretty nice. Uh, same thing like before. You have the back side right here. Actually, the difference here, this one's actually a little bit more better painted. See all the bolts and whatnot, or where the cross is actually painted, versus here in Season four, uh, season 1, where that's not painted at all. See the difference right here? It's a little bit more. But yeah, but again, I, I will say, I do apologize for them right now. I kind of want to get some of these. Uh, the only way you're probably going to be able to get these are either going to be third-party hands from people selling their own versions, which I doubt. There, well, there probably will be some people who want to probably sell them, but I had an expensive cost because now... McFarlane has long since discontinued making these. They don't make them anymore. Which is kind of a sad thing. Uh, I'm glad I got mine when I did. Back when they were still on the uh, Rusty store and whatnot. For a cheap price too. Uh, though I did get some other my other Ruby figures off eBay and whatnot. And some of them did cost me a little bit. Uh, but they were worth it. Uh, but either way. These are my McFarlane. Um, these are my Ruby figure collection that I have for right now. Oh, well, Ruby Rose. Uh, the other Ruby figures I do have, I'll probably do reviews about everybody else later down the line. Uh, but thank you for guys watching. Happy Halloween, folks. Stay safe out there for those who are going trick-or-treating or going to parties and whatnot. Uh, be careful with any paranormal things and whatnot. And as always, have a good day, folks. This is I, Pyro Arden, signing out, and I'll see you guys on the next one.